The battle to save the life of eight-month-old Indy Gregory continues, as an Italian judge in the most recent hearing has also denied further treatment to the child. This is a sad situation, and there is a lot of evil behind this. We're going to get into all the details in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you in the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. And for somebody like me, well, that's kind of my only option. Indy Gregory is the eighth month, eight-month-old baby girl who I have reported on before. Many of you have heard that name as well. She has been fighting for her life in a Nottingham hospital in England. And Indy's case is that she has a rare myochondrial disease. This is causing uh, blockage uh, around her heart. She's basically, she doesn't have the ability to breathe on her own without a ventilator. Uh, and for her parents that are being represented by Christian Legal Concern, they have been doing, or still are, everything in their power to uh, continue to keep her on life support and give her uh, the treatment and really the chance that she deserves to live a full life. And let me just say this, the, the hospital system there, the NHS uh, in the UK is, is terrible. Uh, they have no interest in saving the life of this child. And not just Indy, but many others that have come before her as well. As they have stated, and I don't even know how you can make a statement like this, that the best interest of the child would be to stop all treatment and to just let her go. In fact, many doctors and others had pressured the Gregory family to abort little Indy before she ever came into this world, knowing the problems that she would have. You know, I talk about this all the time. It, it's a sad culture of death that we have seen throughout the world. Nobody wants to give anybody a chance. Just get rid of them. Just don't even allow them to come into the world because it's just going to, they're just going to be plagued with problems. And what you do is you take God out of the equation and you say that he does not have the ability to heal. And that's a dangerous place to be in. Now, countless appeals have been made here by the Gregory family. In fact, the latest one, this took place on Thursday, November 2nd. This was a hearing that took place in Italy. What the Gregory family was trying to do was to get Indy transferred from the hospital in Nottingham to a hospital in Rome in Italy, which, by the way, they found one that said that they would gladly take Indy. They were happy to do it. In fact, they even provided a treatment plan to the Gregory family, and they believed that they could give her the chance that she deserved, that the Gregory family was looking for. Now, there have been arguments on both sides of this, but what the Italian hospital had stated was that they believe that if a proper stent could be put into her heart at a certain point, this could allow the child to be able to breathe normally without the use of the ventilator. The NHS system in the UK argues, however, that they say that Indy already has brain damage and that it's too late and that all treatment should just be stopped immediately. Look, if you are willing to give the child every chance, why is the NHS, why do they not want to let her go? Why will they not release her? Because again, it goes back to what I said. They don't want to see her survive. They don't want her to have a chance. And this Italian judge made this ruling saying that it would be in the best interest of the child. And I love how they always say the bit like they know, right? No, God knows what's the best interest of the child. But the judge said that the best interest of the child would be to remain at the hospital in Nottingham, to not move her to the one in Italy where they want to give her a chance. Citing no real reason other than the NHS's bogus claims that, well, if she's just too far gone at this point completely dismissing everything that was said by the medical center in Rome about how they could, in fact, save this child. Now, is this a direct violation of Indy's rights? Absolutely. And for Indy's father, Dean, he immediately appealed this decision as well. Uh, so it's not over yet. I pray that it's not. I know by the time that some of you maybe watch this video, maybe it's already been too late. But with God, all things are possible. The parents have responded to the judge's decision as completely evil, which it is, as has Christian legal concern that, you know, this is, let me just say what this is, it's really, it's satanic. 
it's it's outright satanic what this is. Uh, they believe Indy has a chance to make it, and there are forces of darkness that are doing everything in their power to make sure that she doesn't. Remember this. Satan has three goals. To steal, kill, and destroy. He is doing everything in his power to make sure that Indy Gregory does not get to live out the life that God had laid out for her. Remember, he has a plan and a purpose for all of us, and that includes Indy. And I will say this, that it must be a pretty awesome plan that he has for Indy, because so many forces of darkness are doing everything in their power to make sure that she doesn't get to live out that plan. So be in prayer for Indy, that God will just do a complete miracle in her life. Pray for favor among the parents as they continue on in this legal fight, in this battle. Pray for favor amongst judges, you know, against, with appeals courts, you know, all who, you know, are, are involved in this situation uh, for God to even change the hearts because he can change hearts. He can. Um, we want to see Indy make it. I'll put more information on this in the description. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below. What I want to do right now, though, is something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. Of course, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you guys up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we're in the last days, really the final hours, and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching right now, though, if you've never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That's something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the prayers to Indy's family are much needed at this time. Um, for Indy herself, remember the judges, the courts, everybody involved here. Let's pray that we can see a miracle come through in this situation, however God wants to play it out. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.